Hello, I hope all are doing good and safe. I am going to give a demo on single phase full bridge inverter circuit. So first inverter which converts DC source into AC source. But in the experimental setup we are going to get output waveform as quasi square wave waveform. Now I will explain the components in the single phase full bridge inverter circuit. So this is a power supply. So 30 volts each connected in series. So total 60 volts input DC we are going to get. So these are the four IGBT devices used in the circuit. Okay. So this if you look at the circuit H1, H2 and L1, L2 are the four and across the upper leg it is H1, H2 across the lower leg it is L1 and L2. So here in the lab experiment setup we are used IGBT four modules. So this is H1, H2, L1, L2 and the respective gate pulses of this IGBT module is connected to respective single phase PWM inverter control input. And next for using R load we are doing. So using R load incandescent lamp is connected for R load and the CRO is connected across the output that is load R load. And now when the duty cycle is fixed in the PWM inverter, so when the duty cycle is 100%, you can observe the illumination of the light and the output waveform. So as I already mentioned, so the output in the lab experiment setup, it will be quasi square waveform. On time and off time, we can observe very clearly when the duty cycle is 100%. Now, I will decrease the duty cycle and show, I will show you the different waveform. So now, the duty cycle I have changed to 80%. Now you can observe the illumination of lamp and also the output waveform from the CR. Next, I will gradually reduce the duty cycle further. I will keep it up around 72%. You can observe the illumination of lamp and the waveform in the output. So next, further I will go on decrease the duty cycle. So this is at duty cycle 60%, the illumination of the lamp and the output waveform you can observe this when the duty cycle is at 60%. Next further I will decrease the duty cycle to 50%. When the duty cycle is 50% the output waveform is like that and the illumination of the lamp also you can observe to 30%. So this is around 28% to be precise it is 28% duty cycle you can observe the illumination as the duty cycle is reducing the output voltage reduces and the brightness of the lamp also reduces so this is the clear picture of so what will happen when the duty cycle is reduced from 100% to 28% further I will reduce and show you the duty cycle so when the duty cycle is around 14%, so you can see the lamp is not glowing and the output waveform is like that. Now if you want to, so we know as per the definition of inverter, DC source is converted into AC source. So if you want the sine wave, so we can take duty cycle versus output voltage and plot, so we will get proper sine wave. But in the lab experiment setup, we will get quasi square wave as the output. Next, this is a duty cycle is at 14%. Further, I will reduce the duty cycle to just 4%. So, this is at 2% when the duty cycle is 0. You can see. So, we cannot observe the waveform. So, from 100% to 0% duty cycle I vary, you can observe the illumination and the waveform. So from 100% to 0% duty cycle, so if we vary the duty cycle, what will happen to this inverter circuit using R load, 
This is the complete uh, lab experiment setup for inverter circuit, single phase full bridge inverter circuit. Thank you.